look what we have here a system 76 launch configurable keyboard i am so excited to get my hands on this and try this keyboard now we're going to go through all of the reasons that make this an amazing piece of kit as my friend zeb used to say but first we got to do a proper unboxing so that's what we're going to knock out here we're going to show you what comes inside this box with this launch keyboard from system 76 and then we're going to set it up try it out and we'll let you know as things go along is this keyboard worth the price now the one thing i will say about this is this is made manufactured in the united states so there is some expense that comes along with it this is not a cheap keyboard at all but we'll get into it and figure out is the price of entry worth it here is the moment of truth unveiling the launch configurable keyboard from system 76. so the first thing we got here is a nice little card it says ready for launch and inside as you leave the ground download the configurator at http system 76 configurator pop os users can download the application directly from the pop os store the configurator allows you to adjust your flight path to your liking at any point along your journey mm, smells like freedom i have no idea why i just did that look at it look at it now respect it all right so we've got to do the most important test here with some clicky sounds so let's see what it sounds like So my first impression touching these keys is they're kind of textured. So they don't feel like that glossiness that you get on, say, the Vulcan keyboard, the Rocat Vulcan keyboard that I'm using right now is my primary keyboard. And I like it. I like the lack of glossiness on the keycaps. The other thing is they feel extremely solid. Like these keys do not feel like you could break them. You could be typing super hard on this keyboard and the keys don't feel brittle. They're very, very solidly built, and you can feel that, almost like one of the old IBM keyboards. Now, I haven't taken this out to feel the remainder of the shell, but so far, just the typing on it feels really good, and I chose the purple keycaps here because I need something that's a little quieter and not as clicky when I'm doing podcasts and things, but you do have choices if you want different style of keys. So I accidentally, while lifting, pulled one of the keycaps off. So you can see the thickness, almost Lego-like, that this key has in comparison to, say, a Vulcan key on my Vulcan keyboard. You can kind of see the difference in not only the thickness, but the build quality there between the two. So one is much, much thinner. And of course the Vulcan's kind of meant to rise up from the keyboard. So that's not saying there's something wrong with the Vulcan keyboard, just a much different type of keyboard altogether. The next thing I want to tell you is this thing feels so solid. It is heavy. This is not a light keyboard by any stretch of the imagination. It's got a really nice heft to it and it feels like solid metal. And I'm telling you, I really, really dig that feel like this feels like how keyboards used to feel back in the day where they were just solidly built you could bash someone over the head with it and then type your letter apologizing later that's how solid these things are and this is no exception you have some really nice rubberized feet here you can see you can get into the keyboard yourself very accessible screws here if you wanted to do that you've got some nice system 76 logos on there you have the split space bar and wow, my first impression is just what a beautiful machine job. The curvature, all of the additional ports on the back, of course. This gives me so many options uh, to add in additional components that I plug into my keyboard as a USB hub. And I just, the quality of craftsmanship is just fantastic on this. The heft of it, you feel like you've really got something special here. This is not like other keyboards that kind of have maybe aluminum top and the rest is plastic. 
this is solid metal all the way around and it is heavy we'll have to weigh this to show you how heavy it is compared to say like a row cat or something but this definitely differentiates itself from other keyboards from that alone also inside the box we have some different keycaps if we want different colored escape keys function keys backspace left right up down if we want to change those keys and have different colors for them we can which is a really nice touch we of course have our key puller here i believe this is a magnetic riser for this keyboard so let's see how this works here oh yeah magnetic look at that how nice is that and it is a solid magnet field you hear that clank those are good magnets on that there and that gives us a nice little elevation to our keyboard as well and of course we have our cords for the keyboard itself usb-c and usb-a to usb-c here so this is what you get in a system 76 launch setup so first i just have to give mad props to pop os they made this app available in pop shop for their own distro pop os but they also made it available for all other linux distributions via an app image they also made it available for Mac OS and Windows. So no matter what operating system you're using, you can configure this keyboard. And this is one of the reasons why people want an alternative to some of the more mainstream keyboards out there because they don't have that option. You can only use them in Windows or you can only use them in Mac OS or configure them, I should say, or use their software. But this keyboard, you can use the software anywhere you want. So we have multiple layers that we can configure utilizing, I think by default, the function key to access those different layers. And then we can change some of these keys to do different things. And you can see the modifiers and options that we have in these layers here. But we also have the ability to mess with our LEDs. So right now we're on space time. We can do pinwheel, spiral, element, splashdown, meteor shower, and all kinds of different effects. We can slow down the animation speed, the saturation, and the brightness. So if you're not, somebody who likes a lot of RGB style stuff, you can also disable them entirely. So everybody has something for them here built into this keyboard, no matter what your preferences are. And that's pretty awesome in my book. All right, so I'm gonna show you some of the built-in color patterns here. Again, running as their default setting, you can change things like the brightness and all of that stuff. This is called elements, and you can see the lights kind of randomly blink. I like this, it reminds me of a Star Trek control panel there. We have Spiral Galaxy. I could see Jill liking something like this here. Wendy, probably not, she's not a big RGB person. All right, we do pinwheel here, space time, which is the default binary galaxies. Event Horizon. That's pretty dope. Vertical scan. Horizontal scan. Cosmic background. Bound keys only. Per key solid. For layer solid color so you could have different colors for each layer that you access on the keyboard you can disable again entirely and there are a few other options that looks like you need to do some manual configuration meteor shower doesn't seem to have anything set for it splash down i'm not seeing anything with that either and elements looks like keys individually light up here which is pretty neat so some of these effects look like you probably do your own customization and things on some of the animations that you want to set up. And each one has layer saturation, brightness, animation speeds, and different things that you can change in them to make them your own. Right now, I think I'm going to have to stick with elements. That's just my favorite. But of course, you can do all the customization in the Keyboard Configurator app. So we'll do more of that later on. Also, you notice that I changed these keys here very easily because it came with some extra keycaps to red from the standard gray that they were before. 
So again, you start to customize your own keyboard here, making the launch something truly special. All right, so this is my first impressions of the launch keyboard. Number one, build quality, 10 out of 10. It's just absolutely solid. Typing on it's going to take me some time to get used to. The split space bar throws me a little bit. Also, the super key being over here in this corner is just a little different than other keyboards because it is a smaller keyboard configuration and I'm used to the full layout. However, I was quickly able to kind of catch speed and get my hands used to it, just like any other keyboard where they change things slightly, whether it's a laptop or anything else, it'll take some time to get used to, but there was nothing extraordinarily different from this keyboard that I felt like I wouldn't be able to get the hang of it. I love that I have all these extra ports and I did test them out and they immediately were able, I was able to plug USB drives in and controllers and other things immediately registered. And this is something that allows me to easily have access to ports for my computer, which I absolutely adore that there's a USB hub built into this directly. I love the customization options. I love that I can customize it in any operating system that I choose, whether I'm in Windows or I'm in Linux or different variations of Linux distros, I have the option to customize my keyboard and that makes me very happy. Next step is to play with some layers and see what I can do with those to maybe improve my workflow and things like Blender and Caden Live, which I'm very excited to get into. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. We're gonna talk more and more about the specifics of this keyboard. This was more of an unboxing and just a really high level, but we'll get into some of the things that make this keyboard truly unique in later videos there. And then of course, we'll answer the question, is this keyboard worth the price of entry? Because this keyboard is not cheap. And I will make sure to give you an honest and true answer out of this. They did not send this to me for free, by the way. We paid with this with our own money on the Destination Linux network. So you'll get a fully honest answer on whether I think it's worth the price of entry. And I want to give a special thanks to Bitwarden for sponsoring this channel and the entire Destination Linux network. Go to bitwarden.com slash DLN and check out the best password manager on the planet. You know what you need with this keyboard? You need a good password manager to go along with it because remembering all your passwords and trying to type all those out, you're gonna forget them. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep the same two, three passwords in rotation and that's dangerous. One site gets compromised, they're gonna have access to all your passwords. That's why you need Bitwarden. Go to bitwarden.com slash DLN, sign up for the greatest password manager out there. They have third-party auditors to make sure it's safe and secure. It's open source, many elements of Bitwarden, completely open source for you. So it's trusted. People use it all around the world. We used it well before they were ever a sponsor. Go to bitwarden.com slash DLN and check them out. They're absolutely amazing. And thanks to them, we get to do things like this. And special thanks to my patrons as well. They allow us to get this amazing hardware and be able to do these reviews for you. So you know if one day you want to pick one of these up yourself. More videos coming your way. But until next time, get out there and fill your brains.